How's our, are we even on that Straight. row of studs? Yeah. The bottom, so I might have to switch that way. Yeah, that looks better. Is that enough of a gap for it to expand? Yep. Really? Yeah. Okay. I, I can't, I have to do it because of the... I know, I know we can't do a lot because of how the line of the studs. What? Well, I can slip some pieces of metal there. Into the slips of metal tabs to hold our cover. That's fine. So in the back of the bus here under the bed we are going to be putting our 200 gallon water tank. So right here I'm doing some framing that will hold the tank. It's inch and a half by two inch by quarter inch wall tubing that I'll be putting three quarter inch plywood on top of. I just have them in here roughly right now and then I probably weld in some, some stringers to go between the uh, my vertical supports. but. Uh, yeah, it should go. Should work pretty well for the tank. It's 50 inches, well, 48 inches wide by 60 inches long, and 20 inches tall. So, uh, yeah, we'll get this welded up.
we had a really good weekend last weekend and we got a lot done. So I am at the back of the bus and this blue outline is where the bed will be. So we have the water tank supports made up and we've started insulating underneath the water tanks. We have the section of the bathroom that I'm ready to get finished. We got that in place also. And Emily did all this work inside here, besides the metal working. So she cut all the in so fast to fit perfectly in there. And uh, even laid out the plywood. I just had to run the circular saw, so she did all the cuts with the with the jigsaw, so yeah, it's really nice that she could do all that. You got this plywood in too. And she got in so fast up to the stairs. And my big push over the weekend was I cleaned this up. So we finally have the driver station down to the plywood. Now, one thing to note with the driver station, as you can see, it's a raised platform. And it must be a module that they just drop in from the factory and just root into place because this plywood is screwed on from the back side so instead of pulling that off and having to grind off all the screws I'm just going to put um, like a half inch of fan fold foam insulation under there and that insulation will extend up into the drivers console and then we'll put the plywood over top for so we have a nice smooth floor all the way up to the front of the bus I wanted to, I mean it will be about perfect for the pedals, I'm going to leave the brake pedal how it is, and we took out the gas pedal for now, so we can work back there, but um, the brake pedal should sit just above the finished floor elevation, so my heel can just rest on the ground instead of having to be up on the pedal itself, and the steering shaft is a boot so you can raise that up and re-screw it into place wherever you want it and then we took off this metal shroud here because we'll end up putting a nice wood wood panel because this whole dash is going to get replaced um, I don't know if I told you this in the last update but I went through the wiring loom for the front of the bus and pared it down to what we need I'm going to leave it unprotected for now until I add all my additional wiring into place. But my goal is to even remove where the heater controls were and have a nice dash, open dash. Um, yeah, that's as far as we got there. The really big push that I did was the stairway. So all I have left to do here is I have to caulk a few seams that are around the frame rail. Because the original frame rail of the bus is right here. So I didn't weld to that, I welded around it. So I have to caulk all those seams and then put my insulation in. Insulate this wall, the one right there, and then back around the corner of the stairs. And then the steps are getting the in so fast and then a half inch of plywood. So I plasma cut these strips so that I have a um, bull nose to protect the stairs while we're working. Our final flooring will wrap around that so you won't see them, but it protects, protects the edge of the plywood pretty much. In the bottom here, I welded it solid on the back side so that it uh, should be waterproof. I'll probably run a bead to caulk along there too before I put the so fast down. But yeah, that's what we got done so far. That was a good weekend. So yeah, as soon as I get this so fast in, we can start putting plywood and so fast down on the floor. So 
we'll wrap in so fast all the way up around the front here under the dash so that we have pretty much a fully insulated front to the bus so that's where we stand right now I'll probably take you along for some of the work we do on the insulating of the stairs and yeah go from there mm -hmm. 